Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is JL Zop. Today we are going to be checking out this question. Create a program that asks the user to enter their name and their age. Print out a message to address them that tells them the year that they will turn 100 years old. So without talking much, let's dive into the video. Intro. If you are new here, hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. It's free of charge so that you get notified whenever I release a new video. So I've opened a new file to do this. When you open your ID and you just click here, a new file and it will pop up to you. So this is where we are going to be writing our program. The shell will not serve as a better solution in this case since we are creating a full program. So I have what? request the user for name so we'll use the input function so name is equal to input please and you leave a bit of space to make it more clearly so this will tell as the user this is what will display to the user and what the user will respond will be saved in the name. So age, we use the same term, input. And that is the first part of it. So to get where the username and this so just print name and age so you save your program by clicking on control s or when you're on mac os command s and you save it at a good location so mostly i save some of my programs in the root system but you can navigate to where you save your programs so i just h 200 I'll just give it that name and save. So when it's not saved, you run it using control, uh, using F5. There's an error here. Okay. So you run it using clicking on F5 or the option above. So there were some small errors that I had to correct here. Sorry. Okay, so enter your name. So I enter you. Enter your age. 24. That's not my age, please. As I know, I'm not 24. I just entered any value. So we know that the input has been taken. So what are we to do in a program? We are to print out a message to address them of the year they will turn 100. So to do this, to make it more of a general program, we'll get the current year in which you are uh, doing it. So as of now, it's in 2020. But for a future reference, when someone runs the program in the future, it will be a different thing. So we have an inbuilt package in Python called date time so you just import it so import date time or better still to make it uh, simpler from date time import date so that will give us the whole date package and what we now have here so current here will be equal to date dot today dot year so this is the code to get the current year so i'll just print it out and you see so you save and run So 
So you have a 2020. So whichever year that you are, it will give you. So the date of today, and inside the date of today, they'll give various, the whole date, the time, the minutes, uh, the month, the day, but we need all the year. That's why I just check that one out. So after this, we'll now calculate the birth year of the person. So birth year. Bet here is equal to what? Current age minus current year. Sorry, current year minus age. So that will give us the best year. So to get the year, the person will be 100. We will simply add the best 100 to the best year. So age at 100. We'll have what? Bet year plus hundred. So this is the one we approach. You could also approach it in a different way. So we are to print out a message to address them and tell them the year do ten hundred. So print. You can use any message you have. So hi. And you use the name so uh, there is a function here so f to format it and we'll take the inputs inside so we have hi name you will ten hundred in you can use whichever English or whichever way you can put it but the logic is clear here in the year so this it might seem strange to you but what is doing is with this f it formats everything there and when it's formatting whichever place it sees this with a square bracket on it it will reference it back to the variable name so it will go for a variable name name here and here to it will go for a variable name h at 100 so when you run it we will have what enter your name so joe h um i'll be 19 in august this year august 2020 i'll be 19 sorry unsupported open for int and string okay so the uh, error here is the age i took the age as a string so you convert it to an integer so do yabzo age age 19 so hi, Joe Yabzo, you will turn Hendrik in the year 2100. And to prove this, I could have just printed out the best year. So Joe... So the best year is 2001, and I was 100 in 2100. So if you are watching this video in 2101, join me. Let's celebrate my 100th birthday on August 9th. See you at a party. If you are watching this video in 2101, I know this video will still be there, so don't worry. So that was it for this program. The code is simple, it's just on simple lines of code. The first thing you have to know is before you write a program, you get the logic down. So the logic is to get the best year using the current year minus the age, and that will give you the best year in 100 to it. That'll be when the person will turn 100. You could have also used a different approach. So if you have any way of approaching it, you can leave it in a comment.
below let's get interactive so hit on the subscribe button as usual dress as usual sorry if you are new here and see you in my other videos till then is by take care